Hi guys and welcome to Shine Speaks. So this is another segment of Red Cup Conversations. Today we've got a cast full of girls. So my name is Shante. Kemi. Elia. Laura. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, same rules apply as usual. We're going to pick a question out from a cup and we're going to give you our perspective. So we can have a question cup please. There you go. Thank you. Okay. So. Alright. Got one. Okay. Does racism still exist, or is it just an excuse? Okay. Hmm. Um, so to start. <laughs> I think it does, to be honest. Um, I think for many years I was kind of of the opinion that racism is just an excuse. I kind of just thought that black people mainly used it as an excuse as to why things aren't progressing. I kind of thought that. I don't know, I feel like a lot of lazy people just use it to say, oh yeah, this is why I'm not getting far in my, my job, this is why, mm. you know what I mean? I used to think that that was the kind of the case, but I feel like that was very young in opinion, and I feel like as I grew up and I kind of experienced racism, and I experienced kind of first hand, you know, walking down the street, you notice little things like, I don't know if you ever noticed, like, kind of when you walk down the street, and you, you might see, this is going to sound really weird, but mm. you might see a white person, for example, and... They give you that kind of that weird smile. Have you ever experienced that? Mm. It's kind of like, like a, it's forced in like It's like a, like a kind of a forced smile to like acknowledge you. I have to acknowledge you kind yeah. of thing. Like I don't want to appear too racist. Yeah. And I know that that sounds that sounds a bit oh she's moving power, but I feel like racism is very evident, even if it's just in the small things. It's not in like slavery or it's not something that's kind of widely recognised. But I think it's it's very much existent. Has everyone seen Get Out? No. Yeah. No, yeah. Don't not ruin yet. it. Oh. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. <laughs> but, like, my, progress- <laughs> <laughs> my progressions are very real. So like, I don't know if anyone's experienced it, but um, I don't know if someone might come up to you and be like, oh, just because you're black, like, do you know? So so like, mm, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, or that person's yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, like we're in one big group chat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or um, like, oh, I don't want to spoil the film for you, but this this is a very good example though. Like in the film, a white lady came up to the main character and was like, oh. touching his arms and yeah, was, like, was like, oh, and was like to the white girlfriend, like, is he good? Like, is it is it good? Is the mm-hmm. D good? Oh. The stereotype. Oh. Because of the stereotype. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So like, oh. long, yeah. <laughs> so like oh. stuff like that. I mean, as in, even my friend told me how at work they used to banter him and be like, "Oh, you having chicken again today? Yeah? Oh, oh are you yeah. having chicken oh my again gosh. today? Like this is in the workplace. Yeah. Like, wow. I think what it is about. I think people confuse racism, like for oh yeah, like, like banter. Yeah. yeah. But I think people think racism is like you have to be throwing racial slurs at someone or mm. I don't want to next to you because you're black. Yeah. Like, no. I yeah. think nowadays it's kind of hidden. Yeah, it's yeah. manifests itself in such a passive way. And I think yeah. British people in general and our society, we're very polite. People mm. are very easy, they can sugarcoat things yeah. in a very mm. weird way. Like I was at work and I had a manager who was just the he microaggressions to the fullest like mm. i can tell you i know countless times of experiences where i was like is this racist like you maybe double double <laughs> yeah, check double myself double, like yeah. is this offensive like i remember one time i was talking to these two um this old black man he came in mm. and his daughter who was like in his 25 she must be like 25 or something yeah. and i served him a week prior and i came in and i wanted to serve him again like you know old black people yeah. love to talk yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they're talking to me for so long he's like yeah 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 and i'm like yeah my manager comes up to me like so rudely he's like can you serve this man over here? And I was like, yeah, with a customer. Like, it was so yeah, awkward. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you okay? And I'm like, yeah. And then eventually they go, give him a shield or whatever. He's like to me, was that family you're speaking to? And I was oh, like, oh, <laughs> no, please. What? Oh, no, please. Oh, my no. God. <laughs> wow. That is cheesy. That is so... I was like, no. I'm like, no, it was not family. No. Like, why did you think that? No. Like, if it was a white no. woman coming there, you would have just not said that. Yeah. Like, Every white lady that come in here to speak to oh, they like, yeah. like, I would have said that, you know? And yeah. I'm like, no, it wasn't. And he was like, he looked taken like he just thought, oh, I've messed up. And I was like, no, it wasn't. Why do you think that? He goes, yeah. oh, because you guys were talking for a while. And I was like, well, you talk to customers every single day. Mm-hmm. You know how customers are. Why not say it to your friends? No, he goes, was that family? family? Yeah. And I was like, 
No. Oh, and he was, I think he was just so like, but it wasn't the first time. Like, it was a point where I was like, he had like, uh, he loved to say the word urban. Yeah, like, oh. there's a lot of urban people in the shop. And I'm like, you mean no. black? Yeah. You mean black? Yeah. No, I was like, just saying, you mean black? Wow. No, I mean, like, so I, was, like, <laughs> I felt like I was that person. Like, because I was an angry wow. black girl in the shop. Yeah. Because yeah. it was so much, but no one else recognized it except like the other two black boys in the shop. Yeah. They're like, yeah. he's just taking, like, he just, and he, he felt like, we didn't want to say anything because you don't want to be the person that says, oh yeah, he's being, being racist, racist yeah. like, or throw out the race card. But in certain yeah. aspects, he's like, he was so offensive. I remember one time I was talking about getting braids, yeah? Okay. And he was like, oh. Do you know what, thank you for bringing this yeah. up, because I was going to move yeah. on to the hair. Like, so was I. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, if you get braids, I'm going to um, walk around chasing you with um, steel pants. What? <laughs> what? Whoa. No. That is so uh, Are you serious? I, I was so angry, and I was like, how dare you? Oh, I was like, oh, I'm just repeating a joke. One of the other guys said, no, the other guy was black. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, what? No. Oh, he, I can't imagine him saying this to begin with, and he didn't say it. I asked him. I was like, oh. He goes, I'm just repeating it, I said, but it's not funny. It's yeah. not funny. And you could, it shouldn't come from your mouth. Yeah. And then my other manager pulled him up and was like, that's very offensive. You shouldn't say certain things like that. Mm. It's not. not yeah. But it's just like on countless occasions. And it's just like these small microaggressions that yeah. you think, should I call him up? Am I, am I being the... Like too sensitive. Yeah. 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 But I mean, it's like, like people don't get called out when they're saying these things. They'll never <laughs> learn. Yeah. 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 This yeah. comes on to the point of like, ex well, We've been forced so much to accept the norm around us in the country we live in or whatever. Yeah. So when it's come now to people accepting their hair, because when I was back in secondary school, this right. whole thing of embracing your hair was yeah, never really thing. about. It's, it's true. Now my sister, right, she wears her, her real hair out now. Yeah. So she's grown it out and she's been doing it for about three years now, like okay. a natural hair journey. And not long ago, like, one of her teachers was like, oh, yeah, you need to tidy up your hair. Like, you Ooh, need to... Yeah, yeah. Because she wears the proper afro yeah. and it's, like, big and everything. Mm, and she, tidy up so you need to tidy up your hair. Can now, you it's a thing where they're not used to seeing us embrace ourselves. They're not si used to seeing us yeah, so they want take to charge of our own lives yeah, and yeah. everything. Do you know what I mean? So, to them, it's, like, a big shock. Mm. It's a bit like, rah, okay, so now they're trying to go against what we see as normal yeah but that's so not that's the case this is who we are right, that's like why it grows naturally yeah. worked out yeah. to like, it's like oh it's, it's your hair's really wild today yeah like, you don't know it's this that's how it's we like, is exactly. this is day one this wash is, hair yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is as neat as it's gonna get this first and foremost yeah, yeah. and this is like this is my hair you can't tell me my hair is wild oh. like, or like you're touching and it's like yeah. okay. i hate people do that when they touch I, it and think it's like it's some sort of and i feel like a lot of people just don't understand i put down to ignorance, I'm like, it's just, it's just ignorance, it's just yeah. okay. Yeah. I was like, I remember, like, going through, like, when I was going to work interviews, I remember, okay, straighten your hair, just straighten your hair, mm. and it won't be a big thing. They might see it as unprofessional. Okay. Like, I was just starting a new internship, and I was gonna get a uh, cane rose in my hair because yeah. I had, like, I wanted to protect my hair for a little bit. Yeah. And I was, I was, I, did, I was debating with myself, shall I go and get them done? Because I've just That's got sad. this internship, and I'm like, I don't know if I should, because yeah, it might seem like, yeah, you know. Sure. It's just sad I find, yeah, I find it hair. really sad that we have to alter our looks or appearances or uh, even, even yeah. opinions sometimes yeah. 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 to fit with society or the society we actually live in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not being funny, but if they were to go to Africa, like they'd probably have to adhere. But at the same time, it's about understanding. And obviously, exactly. in Africa, it's very hard to understand different cultures because they're so mm -hmm. used to seeing one thing. But we're in a diverse, yeah, do you know what I mean, society, society where we yeah. see different things. So why are we still why are we still being forced or trying to be forced yeah. to stick to what they know? Mm -hmm. No, like you need to be open. And you, you know, know what? I, mean? I really feel like racism kind of manifests itself in different forms. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because, I, you know, it's a thing where, I don't know, the words like nigger, for example, is used in so much songs so that people kind of think it's acceptable now yeah. to use it. Even oh my god, like, I have so many. Let's not even get onto that topic. Like, it's just not okay. Like, that's a whole new yeah. topic. Yeah. No matter Discussion. how many times your friend says it, does not ever give you a pass. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Like, it's like, why would you want song. to say that? Like, so yeah. much, such a <laughs> negative etymology behind the word. Why do you feel like you must say the words to it seem cool, but as a joke, it's like yeah. yeah. You have no right, regardless of it whether it's in a song or not. The radio even bleep out the words. Like, but it upsets me though that the word is used still and yeah. people still adopt it in songs. Like, obviously, when you're singing, because the song is in your head, like sometimes it comes out. Yeah. Like you're in the club, but, and someone's like, like a sort of non-black person says my, it, you're like, my, it's like, what did you just what say? Did you say? Yeah. I'm drunk, but I still want to stand real. You to them like, <laughs> like, 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 like <laughs> But it upsets me, and to be fair, like I feel like maybe it could be another topic, but I just want to understand why we still use it. 
Yeah. Um, but you know what? Some people say that we use it kind of as a empowerment. Yeah, it's a reclaiming. They said that kind of, yeah, exactly, yeah. reclaiming. They said that kind of taking away the ER replacement with an A is kind of a way of we were claiming it as our own and making a new identity. I get that because it's like if a guy calls you a bitch, it's like the worst thing. I was like, yeah. What? Well, if a girl calls you, it doesn't sound so harsh. Like, exactly. like you can say it in so many different hey, ways. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it sounds fine. But if a guy says to me, hey, I'm like, sorry, what did you say? Even it's if he was cute, it's a joke. It's true. Way, I think you reclaim certain words to try and like use that used to oppress you to give it a new meaning. But too. at the same time, it's hard because the word bitch, even though it has like really bad like connotations Don't behind true, it, yeah. Yeah. it's it'll never be the same. As the N word, and yeah, I feel like everything. even though we try and reclaim it because it's been like people are so desensitized, so people think it's okay. It's yeah, been used in popular culture so much. People think, oh, well, if this person says it, why can't I? And yeah. I think no one understands. If, even if people understand how like, bad the word is and like, the history behind it, mm-hmm. it's still not ingrained because we've been so desensitized to it. The mm-hmm. word is so flung about, so blase. That's the issue. Thing. That's yeah. the issue. Yeah. It's yeah. used in such a derogatory way, like in terms of the music it's used in. Yeah. It's not the right type of music that it should be mm-hmm. used in. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? If you want to recreate the word and want to like, you know, enforce empowerment again, use it in something else. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. Like, I feel like, for, well, probably Stormzy wouldn't, but Stormzy's the kind of guy I'd be like, hmm, maybe you could use the word in the right way. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, the way it's used today, I don't feel it's it's right, but I understand why they're why using it. No, as well, because I think a lot of time people think like, oh, this person's wearing the race card for why they're yeah. so, like, at the bottom of the food chain. But if you think about it historically, there are so many systematic ways of oppression exactly. like in, in schools in just like the police there are so many di- it's enforced in so many small ways mm, yeah. for example is an excuse not i can see why people do use it as an excuse yeah. it's a very it's, it's easy excuse to use like you might think yeah easiest way to try and get out of the situation mm. or like to try and make myself feel better about the situation mm. yeah. the race but sometimes mm. it's fully applicable and you have your well and well yeah. your rights that phrase it's like hey it's on the wall I'll go below. Sorry, my phone is. Oh my god. Ah! Is it gone? Oh. 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 Oh yeah. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That yeah. is an excuse sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. sometimes. Yeah. Is it because I'm black? And sometimes it's like it's no. Though, it's obvious it's not. Better. Yeah, but it's. In some situations, it is for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In some situations. But I think a lot of the times now it's just used as brand mm, I think I feel about the term nappy hair. Nappy hair. I hate it. I really hate the term nappy hair because it makes it, it makes me feel like I should be ashamed of the hair that yeah, comes from my scalp. Yeah, it makes you sound dirty or something. Do you know what? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. There's no such thing as nappy because we just have really curly hair. Exactly. Like, even like, you know, with all the hair types, 4C yeah. hair is just really, really curly hair. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, that nappy... Cause, cause I don't know. I feel like nappy is kind of associated with like thickness and like yeah. kind of can't like, manage like, it. Yeah. It's, it's unlike it's unlike yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like there's so much. It's just bad stigma. Yeah, I feel yeah. like it has, yeah. a, it has a negative connotation to it. Yeah. Mm. So and like, again, it goes back to seeing hair in the workplace. That's exactly why when they see like, kind of yeah. outlandish wild hair, so to speak, mm. they think it's unprofessional. But it's because you know it's labelled as nappy. It's labelled as. Do you know what? I just feel like people need to learn to understand other perspectives, need to learn... I remember my point, sorry. Yeah. Oh, you remember? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, people just need to start embracing differences. I feel yeah. like that's what people are finding difficult. Oh my god, do you know what it is? It's funny what you said about embracing differences because I feel like racism definitely does exist and I feel like because there's a difference between understanding the differences and appropriating culture mm-hmm. and I feel like mm-hmm. so many artists do it. Like for example, look at, first it was Miley Cyrus and now look at... Yeah, um, she dropped it because it doesn't suit her. What's her name? Yeah. Um, Kat, not, not oh. Katy Perry. Katy Perry. Is that, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now Katy Perry's doing it. Did you see that picture with um, Migos and oh, her? So, oh, do you know the video of her dancing and doing yeah. all of this? So it's just like... Oh, it's just, There's a it's picture stupid. and Migos are sort of posing normally and she's kind of doing a stereotypically mm. black pose. And it's just like, why did you feel the need to do that? Mm. She's not directly saying, oh yeah, I'm racist, but through her actions she was able to kind of show that, yeah, yeah. Um, this is the way black people should act, so I'm going to try and act black. It's just, it's so, it's so disrespectful and I feel like, I don't know, what do you think about, do you feel like it's racist when kind of white people or non-black people um, have like braids and stuff, what do you think about stuff like that? Because some people see it as racist, some people Um, see it as... 
I think it's hard, right? Because yeah. I feel like acknowledging where things come from. But like, yeah. it's, I think acknowledging where things come from is like, because if I welcome you into my community or my like my culture, mm. and I'm telling you, yeah, like we're gonna camera your hair today, yeah. and then that's not appropriation. Like I'm inviting you into it, but also yeah. even if you decide to go and get your camera done, I think acknowledging it well and like I remember there was a trend going on and someone called them like baby knots or like pet but you turn your bantu knots no, you, you just oh, change no. the whole time yeah. like, that's like yeah. why are you trying to like whitewash it. something yeah. like, do you know what I mean? there's so much of that whitewashing is actually so common yeah. i mean and i feel like even in terms of the reinforcement of race i feel like in like shows especially in britain like mm. how many shows <laughs> <laughs> how many tv shows in london have black people in it really and truly it's very true and then they'll portray it like it's always a certain yeah it'll be the stereotype yeah. or, or it'll be the token black person it'll be one black person in uh, I don't know, a cast of 20. Yeah, like, know. I had a conversation with my manager the other day, and we were talking about, like, um, you know, like family shows, so, like, mm. My Wife and Kids, or yeah. My Friends Better, and he was like to me, I just don't really get how it's relatable when black families aren't really like that, and I was like, well, how, 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 how do, do you, you know? know? How do you know? Like, how, well, because they're not, like, they're, they're, they're not broken. Yeah. Yeah. Where no. is your yeah. manager yeah. from? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the other one, he was like from like, what's it, Cornwall, so he, I can imagine like his really, but the other one, he was like, I don't get it because it's not really relatable, but well, it won't be relatable for you anyway, you. because yeah, you're not, not black, yeah. Yeah, you're not black, wow. but I just feel like, nine times, like, when it's stuff like that, when you do portray them as like a different, like, away from the stereotype, yeah, then yeah, it's, yeah, not, it's, it's just not, not believable, yeah. because I, there's a lot of a broken home, like, the dad's still here, and like, yeah, it's, it's like, like, what is this what, kind of thing? You're doomed if you do, you're doomed if you do, doomed Down if you don't, do, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, I don't, I just don't get it. That is it's, mad. But what makes that different from, at the end of the day, if people are still people, so this will still happen in a white community, in a white mm. family, like, the yeah. dad might not be around, or crime happens with white exactly. people. Exactly. So why is it, yeah, with black people why is it just associated with black people? Yeah. I think, to be fair, it's not just black people, I think it's anyone who's not white British, like, for yeah. example, now, because of the whole, like, bomb blast and going off, it's, like, yeah. it's attached to, like, yeah, um, um, like, Muslim. like, Muslims, yeah. and it's yeah. just, like, throwing away jokes and stuff like that. I'm about to sit for it. I'll give you another example of what happened at work. Yeah. I've been having a recent I'm tired of my racist work story. Nah, but, you know, it's it's so prevalent. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, I literally experience it on All a daily time. basis. It's and so every time, every, since I've been at work, there's been always a manager or a member of staff who felt so comfortable with it. And I feel like sometimes they say things like this to me yeah. because I'm somewhat racially ambiguous. So I'm not black enough to be offended, but I'm not white enough to... Yeah, does that make yeah, sense? Yeah, I'm just yeah. like, why do you feel comfortable saying this yeah. to me? And when I call you up it's on true, it, it's like, it's oh yeah, like, tell me a bit about oh. And I was like, now I'm seeing like, it's not. You know what? You know what? <laughs> yeah. you know what? I think, I feel like people are so scared of being racist that they feel like if they are able, if they are able to openly say it, then it must mean that they're not racist. They're just being kind of real. Joking, just being like, joking. It's oh, you banter. know, it's banter, but yeah. it's just there's a thin line between banter and racism, and I think that line has been crossed <laughs> many times, <laughs> yeah. many occasions. Yeah, 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 I don't know. So yeah, do we do we feel like there's certain things that are more of an excuse than others, like racially, um, i.e. with the whole hair thing or the Muslim thing? Mm-hmm. <sighs> Do you know what I, mean? I think yeah, like as well. Like, it's like I don't. I think people really like get confused and call like racist. Or oh, you have to be racist, you have to say this and you have to say that. And, yeah. Like, mm. But in it's really it's like it's so inherent different in so many different in so many different people's personalities. You don't even realize exactly. that like kind of, you know you're like oh yeah because my friend said this I can say this now and mm-hmm. it's just like no you kind of have to open up your eyes yeah. and like yeah. just because your small minority of black friends if it's okay to say the n word doesn't mean it's okay for you to use it out of a wider context. Yeah. You know? yeah. But 100%. I don't know. I think it's just it's manifest itself in many different ways and yeah. it's quite submissive. But it, yeah, it exists. Yeah. It definitely exists. So my, my personal advice would be just to understand where people are coming from, understand the culture that you're about to talk about or give an opinion on. Yeah, or you even. speak, because a lot of things can be offensive. Yeah, Don't be say it's banter just to cover it be up mindful. or cover your side, do you know what I mean? You have yeah. to be mindful, like you said, of, you know, um, again, the cultural appropriations and what's offensive, yeah. what's not offensive. Just take time. But there's a thing about being like politically correct. Oh, I don't know, I think it's the idea of people don't want to be censored and they should have the freedom of speech and being politically correct is like mm. a whole thing now and I get that. 
some degree sometimes we shouldn't not we as in black people but yeah. in society may sh- like should maybe stop being so hypersensitive i feel like politically correctness is like gone mad at the moment but at the same time there is a fine line my drink <laughs> <laughs> and a fine line between being offensive and just being ignorant yeah like yeah. you know just be speaking your mind and then just being damn straight and ignorant stupid. you know yeah. you know just being stupid yeah. just very stupid mm. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. Gosh. laughs> so i don't know do, do you think so if racism does exist do you think it's only kind of do you think black people can be racist like might, you might, you might as well yeah that. You might i mean well. but <laughs> i feel like the reason we we can be racist is more of a like defense mechanism mm. it's more like Oh, okay. So this is what we do. Yeah, then white people they, they don't do that. Mm. It's more like yeah. yeah you're like Jeremy Carl, you're like oh my god, you've done white people. And you're like well, not everyone <laughs> likes that. Yeah, yeah. Not all but, like that. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> I feel like black people are very um, defensive of like their culture and what they own. So when they see you know another race doing something differently, it's like raw. Like okay. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So but it'll never be the same though. It will never be the same. It will never feel as like harsh like calling someone like or say oh it's my person it will never have the same effect yeah. as if, like if it was reversed mm-hmm. so i get why people like oh race but uh, reverse racism doesn't exist i can completely understand yeah. like, some, de- some degree i kind of i kind of agree yeah because it's just like it will never have the same Not yeah, yeah but at the same time if like there is some ignorance within other communities like even like every in every other community there is racism towards black people yeah. and so does that exclude us? Like, are we racist to Asian people? Yes, yeah, mm, like, damn, yeah, it does yeah. exist. Yeah, the racism does. doesn't just exist on mm. white people. Like, yeah. exactly. You know, you can be yeah. racist to Asian people. I know lots of black people who don't like mm. you know, Asians. So I, or even people in their own yeah. diaspora. Yeah, you know what? I was going to say that I feel like people can be very ignorant to their own race. I feel like yeah. black people can be racist yeah. to black people. Yeah. yeah, for real. I mean, and I feel like in the past, I've been guilty of that kind of thing. I'm, no, like, <laughs> no, I feel like obviously it's different now because I feel like we only kind of recently became accepting and supportive of, of black other, owned, yeah, yeah black owned businesses. Like I feel like before mm. we had this kind of attitude of, oh, uh, that hair salon is owned by black people, so it's simply a bit unprofessional or yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah. Caribbean yeah. shops, or you know. Caribbean I'm sorry, shops the ruler, no the, the, the ruler, the lady of the till is the nice of the food. Yeah. That's <laughs> so it's true so i feel like sometimes we can be responsible for kind of one fulfilling the stereotypes and two kind of reinforcing our own um kind of racism you know so i feel like we are to blame for pushing it as well but yeah it's a hard one i feel like just in some level we are all racist (laughs) on some level yeah we all have some but the difference is ideas about other races that might not be true is what i'm trying to say yeah yeah Yeah, I think the level of ignorance determines like how yeah. severe the racism. Exactly, is. I feel like it's the level of ignorance, and it's also kind of the audacity to say it because you can think a certain thing, mm. but then to actually come out and say, you know, like what your manager just comes mm-hmm. out with you, you can think that, but we would never know. But then it. it's just like it's Stupid. so casual, it's true, yeah. and it's so like he doesn't even see a problem with it. And it's like, like you didn't problem. even think before you said that. Yeah. Yeah. That's the issue because yeah. you've never even thought mm. it was racist until I had to tell you. It's like, oh, yeah. can't be racist. When I was a mixed race girl once, it's oh, like, yeah. well, that doesn't count. That's <laughs> that does not count. That like, doesn't count at all. <laughs> the barrier is rude. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so to conclude, um, does racism still exist or is it just an excuse? No, it, no, it, it exists. exists. It definitely yeah, exists. it definitely yeah. exists. I mean, I think we can all agree and say that sometimes people can use it as a bit of an excuse to sort of say, you know, back themselves up. You no, know, to back themselves up. Yeah. Mm. But overall, racism is very prominent. I feel like it needs to be called out. You know, I feel like the more we ignore it, the more we say, oh, they didn't mean it. Yeah. It's kind of, you know, making it an experience. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Enabling it. Yeah, enabling it. Yeah, it's enabling it. it. Exactly. Yeah. So we kind of need to nip it in the bud and sort of say, yes, that is um, offensive. And yeah. no, <laughs> you know, it's not okay. Well, I remember that. Yeah, Lastly, exactly. as well, I feel like with a lot of like the situations going on with the police, crime, the Muslims, etc. There's like a lot of segregation going on in different there is. ways, there is. and I feel like that is also feeding into <coughs> the racism. Like of people, course. that's why Look I feel at the, the media the example, they're always pushing. The, yeah, they're that's where I feel like agenda. the excuse bit comes in, where people are just using it as an excuse to, to kind of you know, um, to bash, other, yeah, to bash others, yeah, to bash others and other cultures, etc. So yeah, definitely, it exists 100. Yeah. percent Definitely, yeah. So all in agreement. That was great, guys. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think down below like comment subscribe let me know once again if you have a topic in mind so yeah one two three bye, bye.